Greetings everyone, my name is Altarian and I am your main provider for beautiful and wonderful stories scattered out there in the world, undiscovered by you. What a shame that you did not know it, but luckily for you I found a couple of beautiful diamonds. In this episode we are going to have a look at Beacon Pines, which is a story, a visual novel, uh, designed in the form of a book without a specific ending. We are going to dive straight into it and see what it has for us. Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Hello. Hi, book. My name is Altarian. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. Well, this book is first of all typing by itself, and the book has a voice. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has Magic not book? been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Mm, I have my questions. It is in that way that my book is special. But how can you write a book without knowing the ending of a book? It is in that way that you are special. Oh, thank you. I without know. Without you, thank you. There is no story. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. That's so sweet. Chapter one. That's so sweet. Normal isn't what it used to be. Normal isn't what it used to be. Okay. This is a story about chain. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh. His name is Luca Van Horn. Beautiful. And like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Oh. And what might his reason be? Oh, this is the vibrant colors, my friends. Beautiful. Oh. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I started middle school next... I'll start middle school next year, I guess. It was six... I was six years old when you died. And it has been six years now. From here on out, you'll be longer gone than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mama always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. This is already a very sad beginning. Me too. Ooh. Hey, Luca. Ooh. I know what found you here. Rollo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. I, I is he going to say something impolite? Ooh. Well, after I banged on your door, till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond, Ooh. I climbed up to the tree house. Ooh. Then I knew I'd find you here. Rollo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... missing. Ah, sorry. I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Oh god, he lost both his parents. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. This is beautiful. Beautiful art styles. I like it. Achoo! Oh, tickle! We got a tickle badge. We got a backpack with a tickle badge. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Ah, uh, you're so flattering. That charm is flattering. a very special thing. Yeah. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of secrets now and then. <laughs> Apchu. I like this Apchu. Apchu is quite, quite cute. Quite cute Apchu. All right, let's go down. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. 
How is that? Rollo looked to the side suspiciously. Oh no, he knows his friend by heart. He knows his friend is not trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Ay ay ay. Not here. Ooh. They might be watching. They? Ooh. Shh. Not too loud. Ooh. We need to do this in a secure location. Ooh. Mission control. Alright, I'll just have to tell Gran and then we can go Ooh. out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know, I'll think of something. If it's all the same to see, uh, if it's all the same to you, uh, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kind of wigs me out. I don't do people, I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself, it won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. That's our objective. Okay. Can we find something special here? Can we like... Oh, we can jump! La 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 la! That's cute, that's cute. That is really cute. Think. Look at the little waggly tail, yes! Ah! This is quite wholesome, I'll admit it. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Oh? Remember that charm you found in the dandelion pack? Yes. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. Mm. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Some of them? Uh-huh. How about... I know, I know... Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, mm. and more covered in flowery fabric. Hmm. Which means... Wait, we gotta jump on the we gotta jump on the table. That is hundred percent a thing to jump to like do ten jumps. Come on, jump on it. Jump on it. I'm pretty sure you can. Ah. No? Okay, let's huh, let's see what we can find somewhere. One of his father's ah. old stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years though. This is a very cozy house. I like it. Oh, cool glass. Ah, oh, that's chill. <laughs> Ponder. Cute, you've got a badge. So, we're letting our friend wait out now. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. <laughs> cute. Very cute. What do we have here? Is grandmother upstairs? Just some dusty knickknacks. Ah, okay. Grandma! Grandma! An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Oh! That's nice thing. That's nice thing. A to label scissors, everything. a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Hmm. Junk. Nice. It's not junk. Uh-oh. Okay, let's let it run. Let's uh, create a little bit of chaos. Ah, oh, that's some pottery. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Hutch? Is this a hutch? Interesting. Well, the house looks cozy. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. That's a lot of flattering You'll words. Recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me. I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. Mm -hmm. You are about mm -hmm. to encounter your first turning point. <gasps> there are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Oh no, that's that's step forth, that's... dear reader. Oh no, 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 no. Step back. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason to rush things. Grant yeah. will be waiting when you oh, return. That's so funny that she replied to it. <laughs> I love that interaction. That was it was awesome. I want to go upstairs first. You gave me a little bit of anxiety there. Like everything revolves around Luca a single paused world. At his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief. Okay. She said. Hi. Another batch. But yeah, you just give him a little bit of stress there, so I'm uh, I'm gonna go there. <gasps> is this our room? Oh, whose room is this? Gran's bed was undisturbed. Ah. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling ah. asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Mm. Luke is a reader. Okay. What's your favorite Luca books? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. 
Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Oh, chill. I love these badges. They are Grand's cute. moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Aye, aye, Luca aye. was somewhat annoyed by the situation. I get it, I get it, I get it. Nice sweater. Yeah, you look cool. All right, we have discovered everything in this house. Let's go and talk to Gran. I think like I'm ready for this one word decision. The faith of Beacon Spine revolves around this one singular word. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. Okay. Oh. oh. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed mm. humoring him by feigning terror. Aww. Sweet and wholesome. A hey, beginner's Gran. guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Grandma! Grandma, I've got a question. Grandma! Grandma! Hey, Gran. I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Uh. Hold up now. Uh. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Special. The less Grand knew, the better for everyone involved. <laughs> she looks quite nice. We're just gonna go for the day. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. What, what, what am I supposed to do? We're just gonna go for the day. Must I type something? Must I? No, space. Oh, can I use the cards? That's awesome! We're just gonna go ponder for the day. We're just gonna hide for the day. We're gonna go chill for the day. Oh, this is cool. What kind of words do we do use? Ponder for the day. Hide for the day. Chill for the day. Let's say just chill. We're just, We're just gonna, gonna go chill for the day. Yeah, we're just gonna go chill for the day. We're just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. Correct. <laughs> oh, you boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. And I love her outfit, guys. Really beautiful. Those earrings with emerald inside. A nice necklace, a cane, and those cute glasses on her nose connected with the same metal string. Very nice, very nice. We stick with what we're good at. Well, make sure you are done chilling in time for supper, will you, Easy. young one? Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Mm, that is thank the power you. of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Oh, that sounds scary when you say this like, to the Chronicle. B. Oh, when, like, when, when it the zooms Chronicle out? The Chronicle of the decisions you've made. When it zooms out, the, even the music kind of stops. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. Okay. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Those lighting words are beautiful. They're beautiful. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Oh, thank you. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Oh, good. It's good. Do I do something? We're just gonna go ponder for the day. We were just gonna go oh. ponder for the day. Oh, okay. So if it doesn't change too much, then that's okay. This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Oh, oh, uh, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. <laughs> well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Oh, his grandma is super chill. It doesn't matter what answer we have. Her grandmother just wants us to be happy. Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Get. <laughs> That's our next mission. Get into trouble with Rolo. Alright, since Grandma is super sweet, I'm gonna close this. 
and I'm gonna keep the refrigerator closed because otherwise, uh, you know, it's gonna be a bad thing. There we go. So, we're gonna have to go and meet Rolo and get into trouble with Rolo to the welcome. St oh, <laughs> come on, come on. Woo <laughs> Dang it, Rolo. Welcome to For Peaky Pines. For a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Well, if you switch to nighttime and you look at this moss hanging there, welcome to Peaky Pines, then it doesn't look so cute at all. Oh. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. <laughs> Look, you're walking backwards. <laughs> Chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. Welcome to Beacon For Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. Ah. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered mm -hmm. until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Oh, no. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. <gasps> is that Sharp and Valentine? Six years. Is that her father? Is that Lucas' father? What? So. If I must not be seen. Can we. Can we talk? Hey, Mr. Cra Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Mm -hmm. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. A fixture. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Uh, excited for the big festival? Uh, uh, sure. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. You're gosh dang right it is. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all of your little friends. I couldn't keep Roll away if I tried. Excellent. So look, I've got to go back to proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits. An alert. Hmm. Oh no. The left side's a little low. Interesting. So young Mr. Van Horn can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Ah. Oh, sorry, guys. How many times do I? It's oh, Major Valen. Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Ah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing! Keep at it! <laughs> Alright. What can the Major of Beacon Pine do for you today? Um, uh, just saying hi, I guess. Um, well... Good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. It is... Interesting. Alrighty. Chill? Just chillin'. Just chillin'. Yeah? Sure. Let's chill some more. Do we get a batch if we stand it long enough? Do we stand long enough to get a batch? Chill batch? Chill by the lake batch? Chill very long by the lake batch. Chill super long by the lake batch? Chill briefly by the lake batch. Getting impatient by the lake batch? We go. Let's see, do we have something here special? Hey, Mr. Sinclair! Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and hmm. lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. Nice, just chilling and enjoying. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair! Ah, don't you see him sleeping, boy? How was the napping today? Trammy as always. You used to have a perfect nice view from here. Still, perennial harvest put that monastery of a building in the way. Why don't you just move the, your chair a bit? Oh, why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's the showdown I want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Okay, okay, his house is probably there and the build is uh, 
building here for work. Let's talk to everyone. Come on, Andy, grab this wallet. I'm sorry, I can't. Do it or we power pound you. Yep. Yeah, but mom said. Yeah, but mom, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yeah. Oh no, these kids are doing some mischief. Hello, sir. <coughs> Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's Luca. <coughs> Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week in pen perennial harvest. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. <coughs> Wonderful. It won't happen again. If we're going to be on a first name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so damn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh, anyway, I'd better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. We're gonna change this town. We need to get every detail right. That sounds interest intense. <laughs> Changing the world is intense. So what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Uh, well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. Open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See, that's not hard, is it? Uh, okay. We're going already. Question two. What's something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought about it before. Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. See, that wasn't so painful. Pete stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, I guess not. Who's I? Our first three questions answer in record time. You're literally writing down everything. Thank you so much for your time. I need to process the answers. You can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Our harvest awaits. Luca is not amused at all, at all. Not amused, not amused. Can you go inside? No? All right, little, yeah, okay, 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 let's go, let's go. Okay, we have talked to everybody. Everybody knows we're here. So we have proof for grandma that we have been here. Ooh, what is this? Mission control, authorized personnel only. Who is this guard? Hey, Justin. Is the line playing any tune today? No bites. This morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, uh, but hey, uh, it was never about to catch. That is uh, where I come to think. Yeah, that was. That's what my dad used to do here. Reminds me. If we're going, uh, if you ever want this chair back, I've taken uh, to standing, sir. I've taken to standing recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at real. If you think you don't, if you don't mind, I think you sh it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. That's sweet. That's very sweet. Oh, that's his father. Go pick your bait from the tackle box, Bukaru. Yes, father. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Mm-hmm. Tackle and junk. Let's do some junk. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. Oh, voila! We can... Nice! What fish could resist a nice shoestring? I don't know, but better than tickles. Give it a good cast now. Woohoo! You'll have to reel in a bit faster, or your catch will lose interest. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Junk. Luca tied a shoestring. What fish could resist it? No, no fish could shoot. Let's go. One. Got it. I'm holding. I'm dragging. What now? Easy there, Bookaroo. You don't know your own strength. Let's go again. Let's go again. Luca tied. What fish? 
I don't know what fish can do, but we must do it. And... Woo! Go! Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Oh yeah. Played a couple of fishing games right now. It should be doing good. Nice, we got a shoe! Why do you think the other one is? <laughs> Hard to say. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it is not. Well, whatever it is. I hope that other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Oh, that's so sweet, little, little bookaroo. Can we take it? No? Can we, can we, let's get Luther something with Tickle. baited a feather onto the hook. Good for skimming the surface. A feather? Did we got a feather there? A feather? I thought those were like flowers. Hmm, maybe this will give a real catch. <gasps> a rubber ducky! Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber duck. You were doing you were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you I turned up. <laughs> okay. Looks like we could use some new bait. What do you say we head out and find some more? Sure. Do I just run away? Uh-huh. I can come back and reminisce every time I want. Oh, that is sweet and beautiful. Oh yeah, we are. This is our the hideout. Boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy, they had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Old Jeff, who is old Jeff? Who is old Jeff? They've got their own satellites and what uh, guns and whatever it is. Oh yeah. After Luca's father had passed. Rollo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rollo's way of keeping him occupied. Well, I must say, it's always been a dream to have a nice treehouse. I am quite jealous. Oh my god, this looks so cool. What the hell is there? On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of... Rollo thinks it's aliens. Nah, he aliens. always thinks it's aliens. All right, there's always a bit of an excitement Lucas winter here coat there. decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Hmm, not bad. Oh, oh, nice! Luca looked up at the satellite dish. Satellite. Rollo nearly killed himself putting that up into the tree. Ooh. While it didn't turn the radio into an interstellar communicator, as uh -huh. he'd hoped, uh -huh. it did at least boost the signal enough to overhear truckers one town over. So it works! Good job, guys! Good job! Alright, back inside. Let's say we, uh, let's say I chill a bit. There we go. A lot of chilling spaces. Alright, so, let's have a talk. Okay, what's your top secret plan to start out the summer? You n so, you know the abandoned warehouse place? Warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. The place has been empty since... Since the fall harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. I love his attitude. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I, I, I just mean we could do some research at the library. We're gonna actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rollo, if you don't want to. Look, I remember that, that, that time I sort of accidentally burned the, the chicken coop. And you jumped in and said it was the fault before my pa throttled me. This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. 
I got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around at the de decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go! Alright, guys, before we go, we will end this episode here in this beautiful, uh, chilling treehouse where we plot our plants and ponder about everything. So far, my first impression that it's a quite cute and beautiful story. Not too much of everything, just perfectly enough. Beautiful music, really nice design of the layout. Not the full screen, but it's like a book. I really love it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the first episode as well. If you did, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, help us grow so I can give you even more beautiful stories. And I will see you next episode. Have a good day, everyone.